All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome once again to Dr. J ENG. And today, well, last night, as you know, um, Fabrizio Romano uploaded a video talking about Kylian Mbappe and Erling Haaland and what's going on and if they are um, probably closer to Real Madrid after all the bunch of rumors that we've been listening to over the last week um, coming out from El Chiringuito, from Jose Perez Diaz, from Real Madrid in itself, just because we released a um, official communication, right? An official statement saying we are not interested in Kylian Mbappe. He's a player for PSG, so we have nothing to do here. And so after all these rumors popped up, right? A lot of people were asking themselves, okay, is that true? Is that even true? Um, Kylian Mbappe will come to Real Madrid, will sign for Real Madrid. What's going on? Do we have the drama I mean, all over again, or what's going to happen because we are in the middle of November. So there's no point, right, in spreading out all these rumors once again. So Fabrizio Romano uploaded a video talking about Kylian Mbappe and Erling Haaland because for so many people out there after Real Madrid kind of rejected to uh, the possibility for signing to Kylian Mbappe, then a lot of people said, no, Real Madrid is on the race for Erling Haaland to uh, bring him over to Real Madrid next year. So um, the Italian journalist basically said, no, we're not, we're not going to hear anything about Kylian Mbappe as of December, nor even um, January, right? During the transfer, the winter transfer market, we're not going to listen. We're not going to hear anything about Kylian Mbappe um, over the next two or three months. It's going to happen though by next summer when Real Madrid start all over again to ask Kylian Mbappe if he really wants to join Real Madrid, if Mbappe really wants to join Real Madrid, and as you know, Kylian Mbappe said publicly he won't renew his contract with PSG, and as of 2024, he will be a free agent, so he will have the choice to uh, pick Real Madrid or any other team in the world, but apparently the player will no longer play for PSG, and that is exactly what we know, okay, so far. Fabrizio Romano never said anything about that, never said anything about, yeah, he's coming to Real Madrid and all that. No, in my opinion, guys, the official statement from Real Madrid released last week was a simple strategy, right? It was a simple move, a simple trick for PSG to get distracted with other things. Kind of like, okay, we are going to release this note, so PSG do not think we are negotiating with P with uh, Kylian Mbappe just because it's not allowed right now. As you know, when a, I mean, this is the FIFA rule, man. When you have a player with a contract, you cannot, I mean, you're not allowed to call this player and say, hey, you want to come over to play? Um, you want me to go and try to sign you for next year? You cannot negotiate a single thing with any single player, right? So that's number one. And Real Madrid doesn't want any problem with any other team in the world, including PSG. So that's why, according to different rumors and people here in Madrid are saying, that was the reason behind the official statement, okay? So there's nothing going on right now in Real Madrid. In my opinion, there might be something going on in terms of Real Madrid are waiting for the right moment, right, for Kylian Mbappe to come to Real Madrid or even for start off any kind of negotiation with the player. As you know, it's difficult, right? But once the player really wants to come to Real Madrid, in my opinion, it's going to be a matter of time for Frontier Perez or any other board member to grab the phone, make the call and say, hey, you want us to start something now? And that's it. I mean, if he becomes a free agent as of January, there's no point in keep waiting, right? He will be free agent and as of January, Real Madrid can try whatever he wants legally, right? There's no problem with that. Problem is, is when you do that before the date, right? Before the expiration of the contract. That's when the problems come up. That is in regards to Kylian Mbappe. And then in regards to Erling Haaland, there's another different world and there's another different story. Erling Haaland is a player who is playing right now for Manchester City, right? He's doing great. He's doing a great job. Manchester City are so happy with him and Real Madrid hasn't made any call or any approach to the player, neither to the player nor to the club. There's no reason for us to do anything as Erling Haaland is super happy right now in Manchester City. And although I have had a bunch of people in my show, in my live streaming, claiming um, 
Erling Haaland at some point will become a Real Madrid player because that is his ultimate intention, right? To become a Real Madrid player. It's not going to be this year or next year. It might be in the future, like two years down the road, but not now. I mean, we will have to wait a little more. And you also have to keep in mind, we have Endrick coming over next year, next summer. So there's no point in thinking we are trying to work on these signings when in reality, we still don't know anything, right? Even killing a mother will be difficult if he really wants or if he really doesn't want to adjust to the salary structure that we have in Rabadi, which is very strict for every single player the same. I don't think he will have a chance to become a Real Madrid player because we are really, really strict in this matter, right? So that's number one. Number two, let's see how the people around Kylian Mbappe react or try to manage this thing because Real Madrid will not lose their head. Real Madrid will not go out of control like we are going to try to design this guy because it's the, it's the number one necessity for us. No, it's not just that. It's no longer that. We also have Bellingham, we have Andrew coming over, and we still have the opportunity or the chance to sign Haaland in the future, right? So I think that we will have to wait a little bit. I don't think it's a very accurate move for us to start to you know, talk about that and rumoring about that and go shape and all that stuff. We will have to wait a little bit more in order for us to know what's going to happen. But according to or according to Fabrizio Romano, and I do agree with Fabrizio Romano, we will have to wait to next summer, all the way to next summer to know something else. So let's wait, be patient and see what happens. See you in the next video.